Look like we've got a couple of dancers on St. John's Square. Just to check this out, look like they're doing a bit of training or something. Warning, this video contains flashing lights. Right then guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, it don't be a bit of a nightlife one. Don't have a little wonder down the promenade and make my way into town. And let's see how busy do Friday night get in Blackpool when it is school bank holidays. So let's get straight on with the video. Just right at the side of Central Pier. And it's looking quite busy. It look all empty here now since they um, took everything away. But all this were full with type of food units when the Red Arrows and the Urso were happening. The promenade meant to be happening tomorrow night. We meant to have a 10k run about half eight at night, if I remember correctly. That when the road meant to be closed. Well, we got a couple of people out and about. Even so, it is about half nine now, I'll say. We got Blackpool Tower just right in the distance and the Golden Mile. We've got a couple of different things in the Golden Mile. You got like a boarding alley, like for little ones. Well, I know my little lad like going in the Golden Mile, they like going on the two peeping scenes and the bowling. Plus, the food ain't too bad in there also. But we don't be getting into the hustle and bustle in a minute. And hopefully, who is out this weekend, having a good time in Blackpool. Hopefully, you all keep safe and drink responsibly. <laughs> responsible. <laughs> and just have a good time when you come to the sea town, seaside place. Sorry guys, I can't get my words out tonight. Colour Island, the Blackpool Rock World Up Suites. And I love Budge, they're all open. One of them added the ballads here for tomorrow run. Well, Saturday, shall I say. They still got the scaffolding up at Popper's Fish and Chips, and to be fair, looking quite busy in there tonight. So walking past the Sanigans now, and we've got quite a couple of people outside, but they're not as busy what I've been in the past. One of the nights just starting to go. We've got North here just right over there. Look at that balloon bar open, you can see all the lights. You also got the Turtle Bay. And we got the Counting House and the H2O Bar. And the Trinity. And to be fair, it's looking quite dead in town. So I am amazed, you got like a group of people about. But in general, it is looking quite quiet. So I don't have a little wonder up to the Winter Gardens and up that way and see if that side of the town any more this year. Normally you'll have quite a couple of people down that alleyway there. We've got the police hanging about. But normally you'll have lots of people down that alleyway, but that even quiet. Just right next to the Rose and Crown now. And it's like an other popular space for when the bikers or the punks, punks like rockers all in town, they all seem go to they all seem to go to the Rose and Crown. It's quite a weird walk around tonight. It's like an eerie type of quiet. I don't know how to explain it. 
like busy but not busy. I don't, I don't really like it that much when it feels like this, like a weird type of atrophy you're about. But of course you've got like your coffee pot, your cafe and grill, you've got like your cafes and your charity shops and type of units like this down here. You even got the Ryzen home care. I have mentioned this once before, but when I think about the Ryzen, I think about the post office scam. But yeah, we've got a couple of more people up here. And I'll tell you, you've got quite a few people in groups. But yeah, the bars does seem to be quiet for Friday night. It looked like this where everyone hiding up in front of the winter gardens. I think there's some kind of dance or, some, or something happening. But yeah, you got a few people around the winter gardens on St. John's Square. Got all your black cabs all lined up, ready to take people home or to the next location. <laughs> Look like we got a couple of dancers on St. John's Square. Just to check this out. Look like they're doing a bit of training or something. All your shops is ready to close now. And what amazing they could pre through that way. Seeing the dancers look like they were getting ready or doing a bit of practicing. So that was a nice little pre through that. So I just want to have a little wander down Church Street. And as you can tell, there is quite a couple of dance groups about. Got the Pinto Lounge, that still look open. You'll probably get quite busy that place when Winter Garden's busy. So this is where all the action all happening tonight. It's right in front of the Winter Gardens. It looked quite... Um, right down there with all the lights and the tower and you also got Bella in Tania what look open also with the lights in the windows and here we have got the black the back lock diner slash cinema so you're thinking of something to do with the little ones during the six weeks holidays or oh, fancy watching the film why do you not give it a try but I suppose I'll have all the latest films were out. Well, like out in cinema. And this is probably the new hotspot place in Blackpool now. But we don't have the one next to the old McDonald's anymore. So this is the only cinema we got. So you can go have some food and go watch um, a movie. Or you could do it all the way around. Go watch a movie and then grab a bite to eat. Oh, it looks like someone been leaving the rubbish about. Albert Road. It looked like the pound stretcher is still up for legs. I'm wondering what is that place going to turn into? Of course we got McDonald's. You got two different entrances now, McDonald's. You got one for your delivery drivers and one for uh, the public. I don't know if the camera picking this up, but right at the side of the courts, we have got an orange full moon out tonight.
I love food. You got people having a little boogie over there. But I just don't want to walk down this road here to see can we capture that moon even better. Maybe I'll walk along the bridge. But I know you can go up the steps, but not too far with it all blocked up. So I don't to try that to capture it for you guys. I think this is the best I don't get with this camera. But that little dot in between you two, in between these two buildings, that where the moon is. You got the Stanley show ball just on the corner. guys i think that don't be the end of this video what a very weird night it's in blackpool a lot of groups out but not a lot of people in the bars i don't know what is going on but for a friday night you expect it to be a lot more busier than what it actually is but if you did enjoy this video and then please hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this one hit the subscribe button and if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos turn on that notification bell and i'll see you on the next one